Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this really gorgeous 20 piece nail set and I'm so excited to show you guys how I did it. So if you would like to see, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm getting right into the video. I'm sorry about my nail stands in advance. They're very crusty. I use them literally every day. But I'm going ahead and grabbing a whole bunch of greens because I was really inspired by like 420 and things like that. Uh, I don't celebrate it, but you know, I just thought I would do a green nail set. Maybe someone would want one. So I'm going to show you guys the colors that I kind of pulled out of my collection to see if I should use them. This one is called Mysterious by Madame Glam. It's a really beautiful army green. I actually don't end up using this one, but I was really close to using it. This one I'm so excited to use. It's called Serendipity, I think, and it's so gorgeous. I've never used it. It's like a really beautiful glittery green. It honestly reminds me of the Grinch. And then this one right here, I didn't catch the name, but this one's also pretty, but it's more of a bluish tint and it has glitter that's like green in it. And this one is really beautiful. This is a perfect forest like tree green color. It's very bright and vibrant. I really love this one. And then I grabbed this one as well. This one's a little similar, but it's a little bit darker. So this one's a, a perfect color for like, um, like more of like an emerald, I would say. So that one's really nice as well. And then this one I was so excited for as well. This is like a gold and green tinted glitter one. It's like chunky glitter. I was trying to mix it in to really show you guys what it looks like. It's so gorgeous. The camera is not doing it justice in person. That color is stunning. So I had that one as well. And then this one called Lonely Boy by Madame Glam as well. This one's really close to one of the Nail Addict ones. Like almost identical. So I didn't end up using this one either. But yeah, I kind of just pulled out some of my faves. This one is the one I end up using. It's called Lucky Bamboo by Nail Addict LA. I think they are called Nail Reserve LA now. They did change their name. So if you're wondering why you can't find them on Instagram or anything like that, that's probably why. Uh, so I'm going ahead and grabbing my nail tips. So the ones that I'm using are the square nail tips by Eno Couture. And I am going to be um, showing you guys how I kind of numbered them. So I put them from uh, in pairs. So when you're doing a 20 piece set, you want to put it in pairs. So I did like uh, zeros and then one and then twos together and then threes together then fours together then fives so when you're doing a 20 piece set you want to do two of each size this just helps out um, especially if you're barely starting out with press-ons for people with sizing like sometimes they don't know how to size their nails correctly so if you want to just kind of size them and stuff uh, without having to actually uh, like send a size kit or something you can do this and tell them that it's numbered from zero to nine or whatever and then kind of help them out I hope that makes sense but so that's how I'm doing it and I do I am going to I don't know if I'm going to do it now or if I did it already I don't know if I got it on camera but I am uh, numbering my stand so I write on it with a sharpie and I start off with number one so this one is going to be the first stand so it's going to be stand number one and I just write on it with a sharpie so then I go in order and I design the nails based off of which sizes they are if that makes sense so I'm painting all of these with the same green glitter because in theory like if uh, in reality if you were going to be using these on a whole bunch of people most likely the zeros through threes are going to be uh, thumb sizes so I make sure I do all the thumbs with the same type of design so that no matter what size thumb they have they have that design for the thumb if that makes sense and then for the pointers middles and ring finger are the ones where I kind of just uh you know kind of freestyle it and I kind of just do whatever because those can go on either one of those three fingers you know what I mean like um someone's middle finger could be a size or someone's ring finger could be a size six a size seven or a size five so I like uh or even a four so I like kind of freestyling those so they can mix and match their nails based off of what sizes their fingers are I hope I'm explaining that correctly but um, as you guys can see that I just did the glitter so far and I started pulling out my rhinestones because I was like okay I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm completely freestyling this like 1000% I have no inspo pick or anything and I'm just going for it so I wanted to grab some green gems just because like what better time is it for me to be able to use all shades of greens except for like right now and I felt like the gold goes really pretty with the greens as well so I went ahead and did that and uh, picked up some gold gems or picked some out 
And then I saw these really pretty uh, crystals that I had. I remembered I had these green ones that are like jade crystals and they are real crystals. And I was really uh, thinking that I could actually use those for this set. But then I remembered that I am doing them on shorter nails. So that probably wouldn't work if I was doing like an extra long set. I would have for sure added some crystals in there. Um, but it's really hard, honestly, you guys. I've noticed that it's really hard to create designs that people like. I have a hard time trying to figure out what the most popular nail designs are because I really like freestyling and I like doing things that I feel are really unique and pretty. But then I notice that a lot of people don't like that kind of stuff. Like people like more trendy nail designs or more simple which I totally get, but I don't know how I could reach that target audience on my Instagram of people that like really unique nails. You know what I mean? If that was kind of confusing, like re-listen to that, but I feel like I worded that really well. Like that's just how I feel. And I want to like target that audience of people that like unique or different um, nail designs that are still kind of like girly. Cause I feel like that's my aesthetic kind of. So I don't know, I'm kind of ranting now, but I pulled out some crystals as well. Let me just skip this part because I'm just like not doing anything. So I'm going ahead with my second coat of that beautiful green glitter. And you guys, I'm so sorry, but I have a feeling, a strong feeling that this glitter is not even available anymore because uh, they rebranded, like I mentioned earlier. So if for some reason it isn't available, um, you know, I'm so sorry, but it is really gorgeous. Um, I am just going ahead and doing the second coat. Like I mentioned, these are the thumbs. I kind of really wanted to go more into depth in this video on 20 piece nail sets because I know that when you're a beginner with press-ons, you really struggle with that. I know it's something that a lot of people don't really know how to start off with. At least that's how I was. And I know a lot of girls do that, do struggle because I get a lot of DMs from you guys asking me questions and how you can do a 20 piece set. I know some people do 20 piece sets differently. Like they'll add like double of number fives or double of number sixes because those are the most common sizes but personally literally just in my opinion I feel like it's not necessary only because I feel like you could um like let's just say uh you needed two number fives like let's say your ring finger and your pointer are the, exactly the same I feel like you could go ahead and use like a number four or something or a different one and file the sides a little tiny bit and it'll fit perfectly. I feel like uh, nail tips are very, very universal. I don't think, I don't feel like they need to be like uh, the exact most identical size. For example, my pointer finger fits a five and it fits a six as well. And it could even fit a four if I just filed the sides of a four, uh, just a tiny bit from the bottom and it wouldn't make my polish chip or anything because I've done it before. Uh, so I feel like that's what you could do when you have a 20 piece set. So don't stress too much on having to add doubles of certain numbers. It's literally just up to you and whatever you want to do for your customers. But, uh, like I said, I just feel like it's not necessary. And all, with all the 20 piece sets that I've sold, I've never had anyone say that they had sizes that didn't fit them. Like they always found something that fit. Uh, like I mentioned, because the nail tips are so, or their nails are so universal. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm rambling again, you guys. But you guys, some of you guys like when I talk and some of you guys don't. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but once I'm done with these glitter ones, I knew right away that I wanted to go ahead and top coat just so I can get these finished. And these ones will be done already. So I did two coats of the glitter, like I mentioned. And now I'm going on to stand number two. So I did, I think, numbers zero through three in glitter. I think I, that's what I did. And these are the number fours that I'm painting with Lucky Bamboo. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. And I'm just painting them all this solid green. And I think on these ones, I ended up going with the marble look. I'm pretty sure that's what I ended up doing. I don't remember. Or actually, I think I did crystals. Sorry, you guys. I literally just did the set today. And I just wanted to upload this so you guys can have something kind of... 420 ish to watch uh like i mentioned it's not really 420 it has nothing about 420 except the colors but yeah anyway uh i really wanted to do some marble so this is stand number three and i'm going ahead and putting on the green and i think this is when i realized i wanted to do marble so i kind of went backwards um i was gonna do marble on stand number two but i ended up doing it on number three so these are more like the ring fingers i guess you could say uh close to where the pinky sizes are at and yeah, I'm going ahead and just doing that and I'm not going to let it uh, cure first. I'm going to leave it wet and I'm going to go ahead and grab some gel polish and I'm just going to do like little swirls on the nail to create a marble effect. If you already cure your gel polish when you want to do this design, don't worry. You can use some blooming gel and it'll work and spread out the colors for you. 
I'm just going ahead with the goldish glitter and drawing little lines and it's going to create a really pretty marble look you guys will see in the end. I really love doing marble nails like this. It's like the funnest type of nails to do. And I think it was because I've been a painter my whole life so this just makes me feel like I'm painting or something. I don't really know but I really really like doing it. So I'm going to do that with a whole bunch of different colors. I'll just let you guys see. And then you guys, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize that I wasn't recording when this was going on, but I took the nail clusters that I showed you guys in the beginning and I put them on there with my Zule's Bling Adhesive and my nail glue dryer and I just placed them in little clusters with little small rhinestones. Uh, it's nothing nice, but I know you guys would have loved to see that. I don't know why I wasn't recording, but um, yeah, I just did that with some rhinestones that I had from the little containers. And now I'm going ahead and applying um, some top coat onto this one because I noticed that it wasn't spreading the way I wanted it to. So I put some top coat so that it could kind of spread out a little bit more. And I, the other thing I wanted to say is when you guys are doing marble like this with a lot of colors... Um, overlapping each other while it's still wet make sure you clean up the sides so that your sides don't end up lumpy and you can keep your nice shape and after using Zule's bling adhesive and nail glue dryer together always make sure that you're going ahead and wiping your rhinestones off with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol just to make sure that you get all of the spray off of your nails before you put your top coat because it can taint your bottle of top coat uh, I learned that over using this for so many years. So yeah, I'm going ahead and doing that. And for these little gold butterflies, they're like 3D. They're really, really cute. I got them years ago. And also these little clusters, I think I got on AliExpress a while ago as well. So I'm not sure if I could find the links for those. But if I do find it, I will link it. Sometimes I don't link the stuff because I can't find the links or they don't exist anymore. Like, that's the one thing I don't like is uh, sellers on AliExpress will stop selling stuff. And when I need to rebuy it, like, they don't even exist anymore. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, I'm just going ahead and top coating all around the gems. And as you can see, I did place some top coat on top of the butterfly because... On top of the butterfly and on top of the charm. Because little gold pieces like that sometimes will rust, especially if your client... Uh, is washing their nails a lot so right here I just wanted to zoom in and show you guys the marble oh my gosh it was so cute I'm obsessed with it and I am top coating the marble as well so oops I just touched it but yeah so I'm just going ahead and top coating this is my eye gel beauty top coat you guys I have been struggling with my top coats because I am out of every single top coat I had McCart kind Beatles kind um madam glam and eye gel beauty and i finished every single bottle i go through top coat like crazy so now i need to go on amazon and try to find a good top coat let me know your recommendations down below if you guys are still watching uh listening to me talk if you guys have a good top coat from amazon that i can get like on amazon prime let me know because i really really need to upgrade my or a uh, uh what is it called i need to restock restock on my top coat um anyways you guys so that's what they're looking like and then for the next little nails i end up going in with just a few crystals um just the regular little round crystals and that's just so that the nails aren't completely plain i just made every nail with either like a design or with glitter so yeah it looks really cute and here i am again zooming in on those marble nails so that you guys could see it So here are the little stones and I'm all out of Zule's Bling Adhesive. You guys, I'm out of literally everything. I'm out of Zule's Bling Adhesive. I'm out of the labels that I put on my press-on boxes. I'm out of white and black gel polish. I'm out of top coat and I'm running out of nail glues for my application kits. There, I have like five left. So I am definitely needing a restock, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm out of literally everything. I'm going to buy a whole bunch of stuff and maybe do a little haul for you guys. Just because it's been so long since I did a real normal haul of nail supplies. But this is the final look, you guys. I'm obsessed with this nail design and I really hope someone ends up liking it as much as I do. And I hope someone purchases them. So, yeah. I like doing this and posting them on my story. 
on my Instagram for people to see if they want to purchase them and um, it's just a fun way for me to actually get my creative freedom and kind of do whatever I feel like doing without having to create a design that someone else wants so yeah you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked this tutorial let me know what you would like to see next and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye